Hi guys, Ify here. I have something to say to you guys about the Middle Eastern fragrances. We have a problem with them. There is actually a problem with them. And you know how much I like them. And probably you also like them now after watching my videos and after actually trying them. You can actually tell that there's quality in them even though they have such a low price. And that's actually the best thing about them. But the biggest problem with Middle Eastern fragrances is that they are not so easy available for everyone because they are rarely available in shops so you can actually get to try them. Most of them you watch the reviews and then you blind buy them. So this is the biggest problem. You can't actually get to try them. From this problem, a lot of other small problems derive. For example, you can barely find any information about them. And I'm here, I'm talking online about the notes. Most of the time we know how it smells after seeing the comparison with a more popular fragrance. Let me show you what happened to me. So here's what happened, guys. I saw these two fragrances online for the ladies and of course I blind bought them because I had no information about them. I chose one from Art Al Zafra because I know that they make very good fragrances for the price and you know dear hum. And this one was actually from a company also Middle Eastern which I never heard about and I wanted to try it. And I also did like the name, Sama Dubai. And I thought maybe it smells luxurious. And it does. And this is from a company called Surori. Maybe you know about them. But they are pretty good. At least this one made by them. It's pretty good. The problem was, I don't do this so often, guys, to blind buy women's fragrances. Middle Eastern ones and it happened that these two are identical but we are not talking about any of these two right now my point is even if there are tons thousands of Middle Eastern fragrances it is very likely that at some point you will buy two different bottles with the same juice and these are two different companies if you remember, Armaf did that. They are probably still doing it. They're putting the same juice in two different or three, four different bottles. And it's not only Armaf, guys. They are also Middle Eastern. Middle Ears. They are also Middle Easterns. And even if they are not the same, identical, at some point you will find them very in the same genre. Most of them are either sweet or with oud, very oriental type. So I recommend you do not buy too many of them. You probably want to wait for the reviews or if you get the chance to try them and pick only the best. Of course, there are other problems as well. The problem of the money, they get more expensive as you get further away from Dubai, from UAE. Exception is UK, where lots of persons, businessmen from UAE brought their business into UK and here you can actually find them cheaper than in Romania, for example, which is much closer to Dubai. But in general, guys, the point is you do not go berserk on spending a whole lot of money on these Middle Eastern fragrances which are mostly cheap and good but you might get uh, some duplicates, triplicates and if you do get to spend like $100 on 10 of these fragrances and only two of them are good you're probably going to regret it so it's best to actually watch the reviews, 
read about them, try to find as much information before blind buying them because at some point you'll probably end going back to designer fragrances which even though they are somehow similar between each other, they copy the ideas, they're not actually identical. That was my thoughts on the Middle Eastern fragrances as of now. I want to know what's your opinion about them, what are your problems, what do you think needs to be done to avoid getting duplicates. And until the next video guys, keep smelling great.